Hello, hello, everybody. I hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to first tell you that the boys got home safe. They're fine. They had a great time. Um, kind of wish they wished that it lasted a little bit longer. I don't. <laughs> I was done by the time they came home. I was ready for them to come home. Um, but they had a good time. Um, met a lot of people and had a blast. So thank you for praying and uh, they had a wonderful time and, and they were they were very blessed by that. So we are dealing with fires right now. Um, we are where I'm at. We are circled by fires. Um, Canada is right above us and where we are at it's only two hours from us. So uh, the Canada border is two hours from us and where the fire is at is right in that location so yeah we've got that Canada fire blowing down here we have a fire that's out by the Air Force Base um, which is 30 minutes from us so yeah we're we're kind of encircled by some fires here um, and then you guys there in California are gonna be hammered this weekend into Monday and I just I hope and pray that you guys are getting out of the town out of out of the way if you're on the shorelines or anywhere near there I, I hope that you guys are able to flee and get away from the area um, evacuate go somewhere do something go camping do something get out of there <laughs> Don't just sit there. If they're telling you to leave, or even if they're not, because look at Hawaii. They didn't tell anybody to leave, and look what happened. So if I were you, before the, the bulk of it hits, I would leave. Just go somewhere. Go stay with family. If you can afford to, head up to Vegas. Go rent a Airbnb or something. But stay safe, and uh, we'll be praying for you. Everybody in the country is watching you guys and praying for you guys. Um, but I wanted to come on very quickly because I'm sitting out in the smoke and I have asthma and this is not good. <laughs> but, um, so I noticed something today and something was dropped in my spirit, in my heart. And I want to share it with you guys. Okay. Now this is, uh, I'm telling you guys now, okay, that I'm not a prophet, but I'm telling you guys now, I can see the direction that things are going. And if we are still here, which I doubt it, but if we are still here, this is what I see going to happen, okay? I'm not a fortune teller or anything like that, but this is how I see it's going to happen, okay? So it was um, exposed today that starting in October, they are going to start bringing masks, mandatory masks back that you're not going to be able to travel. You're not going to be able to get into stores with that. Then by uh, November they want to bring back full and complete global lockdown uh, due to this new variant that has come out. Now, this is where I'm, I'm coming in. I'm gonna tell you, this is what's gonna happen. I'm telling you right now, this is what's gonna happen. Mark my words. <laughs> if we're still here, I don't think so if this is what's gonna happen because this, this is what I'm gonna tell you would be something after the church is gone. But anyway, so everything's coming down the pike. Okay, things are happening in September with um, BRICS, the global currency. You have the seven-year peace agreement that's going on. Now you've got Saudi Arabia um, trying to help Israel. They're kind of eyeballing the Temple Mount. And um, now you've got this thing, this mask uh, mandate that they're wanting to do in October, one month after all of those things happen. Then you have this global lockdown. Okay. I think that the global lockdown will happen either, either after the rapture, hypothetically, after the rapture, they're going to lock everybody down in order to bring about the brick system in order to be able to track and confirm where everybody's at and or um, that's just how long it's going to take for cleanup after the rapture. 
because the lockdown is going to be in November. They're going to be so overwhelmed with it. They're going to say, finally, finally, they're going to say, we've got to lock everybody down. Um, this new variant, blah, 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 blah. So that is how, because they, this past, what happened in the past was a test run. They wanted to see how easily people were conditioned and boy, were they conditioned, right? Um, and they still are. So that's going to bring about the mark of the beast. And why I say that is because you've got BRICS, that is a global currency, that they're already, it's going live, it's already happening right now. Um, if they lock us down, us, people left behind, whatever, they're going to use BRICS as a means for people to get out, okay? You take it, you do your BRICS, whatever, um, you can have freedom because now we have your medical uh, information on live. We've got information to know if you've been, you know what, um, which will tell us if you have this variant, it's gonna tell them everything about you, which they're already doing. They're, they're doing the um, health whatever on our phones. And people are gonna be locked down if they don't take it, they're going to be locked down. Um, the price of food is skyrocketing. Okay. Now we know in the book of Revelation it talks about how a day, um, day's wage will be the cost of bread. The, the ingredients to make bread. Um, we're getting to that point now where it's getting to be so ridiculous. People cannot afford to do anything. Um, we have a very weak, extremely, extremely weak administration. And um, I could see something such as the rapture happening during his administration because he is so beyond weak that he has given us over to Ukraine. He's given us over. He'd be so willing. Let's say the rapture happens while he's in office. He's not going to have the smarts or the capability to even handle such a chaotic event. He's going to have to have help. He's going to have to give the sovereignty over to somebody for help because he is not going to be able to handle it himself. Um, look how he responded just, just to Hawaii devastation. Look how he has responded. He hasn't, right? He keeps saying no comment. He's going to the beach. He's doing his own thing. He has not gone to Hawaii. He hasn't mentioned anything. Instead, he is taking money that the Hawaiians absolutely need, and he is sending it to Ukraine. Um, now these people are going to be desperate because uh, I'm going into a different subject here, but those people in Hawaii are going to be desperate to have some kind of normalcy that the, the um, investors are calling these people and offering them money for their property. And so now you've got this land grab going on, which, you know, people are going to be desperate and they're going to do, which is what they want to do. And it's going to end up being, well, you give it to us. You, you had a chance for us to pay you for it. You didn't take that chance. We're taking it now. That's what's going to happen. But getting back to the what I was talking about, that's what dropped in my spirit, in, in, my, in my heart. When I read that, just now read that, that they're going to, it's been exposed, that that's their plan. It just shows that they've been kind of talking about this all along. And they created another crisis in order to um, have a solution. And they, the test run showed them and proved to them that people are like sheep and they will do anything that they are told. If they, they plant a little bit of fear into somebody, then these people will follow along and they will do what they are told. And unfortunately, you still have people like that. Many people have woken up. Many people are saying, oh, I'll never do that. Oh, I'm never going to get locked down. Oh, I'm never going to wear a mask again. Baloney. If you want to travel, if you want to go to the store, a lot of people need to go to the store. A lot of people need food. 
<laughs> I mean, you, you need to go to the doctor, you go to the hospital, you need, uh, you know, look how everything was responded before. Like people wouldn't, ambulances wouldn't pick people up because they weren't, you know what, hospitals wouldn't treat patients because they weren't, you know what. People are dying because they can't get a transplant because they're not, you know what. And on that note, I think I said it before. I can't remember. I think I did. But anyways, they want that we're called pure bloods. <laughs> Those of us who are not, you know what, are called pure bloods. They want our blood to be donated because those people that have been, um, they don't want tainted blood. They want pure blood for them. And I'm sorry, but no, you know, I tried to tell you, I took my name off of the donation list. And I also, they want only, they don't want to implant um, body uh, parts into people who have been. They want pure blood body parts to transplant into the mm -hmm, bodies. People that need them that are desperately, they're dying because they have been, you know what, they want pure bloods, you know, hearts and kidneys and livers and stuff to implant them. Because if you get another person that's been and they transplanted, it's not going to do anything. So I took my name off of the donation list. Sorry, you're not getting my stuff. Um, yeah, no. But this is what's going to happen. I'm telling you right now, guys. I am telling you this is the direction that it's going to go. And it's no coincidence that it is planned for why if they were going to do it why wouldn't they do it now if this variant is so bad and so dangerous and so contagious why wait why wouldn't they do it now but they've chosen to wait until after the meeting the summit in september why why all of a sudden why in october all of a sudden and the lockdowns why wait until after you know this summit or whatever the spirits that are running this world they aren't stupid you know we we oftentimes think that they are so dumb that they don't know what's going on they know exactly the time just like we do those who are watching they know that they know what time it is they know that the time is at hand you forget that they also that satan also goes to the throne room of god He's, he comes back and forth. He's, he's um, accusing the brethren. He's not stupid. He knows the Bible better than we do. He knows that his time is, is coming. He knows that the time is at hand. He knows that, that our homecoming is, is coming. He knows that the celebration feast is, is at hand. And he's preparing the hearts of these, these wicked men to prepare for his coming. Because he's not stupid. He knows what time it is. So the hearts of these wicked men are being prepared by the God of this world to prepare this world for the coming of this false messiah. Um, and they've already started conditioning and training people's brains to be rewired and reconditioned into believing things that are not true. It's... it's um. Ooh, it's um, psychological warfare and they've reprogrammed people's brains to think one, you know, from being one way, thinking one way, they've psychologically changed their um, chemical brain into believing something else and to the point where they are so blind that they are believing absolutely everything and they believe that anybody that doesn't follow suit is not part of the plan. They're, 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 um, they're, uh, they need to be demolished because they're not part of this greater plan that they have. So, like I said, it's no coincidence that they're planning this in October after, after um, this, this seven-year thing. Which, in my personal opinion, belief that would mean that we have to be out of here we've got to be gone if that is the seven year 
agreement that is signed that means that it's going to be signed by somebody which means that the church is not here to see that somebody which means that we have to be out of here we may or may not i pray that we are but i can't imagine us being here to to visually see these things come about because we're already seeing the global currency right now our administration was put in place for such a time as this to accomplish the events of the last days and to allow uh, the handover, you know, the keys to the nation to the man of sin. So anyways, guys, that's my thoughts. <laughs> that's what I think. But um, yeah, but I need to get in. It's really smoky. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a blessed and beautiful rest of your day.